And I think the quality of our lives is based on the quality of the decisions we make on a daily basis. And that one single decision was, today is not the day we're going to die. In reading about this and researching you and this event, it's one thing to hear you tell the story. It's another thing to actually watch because this was only three or four years ago, right? So, so people have their smartphones and people made videos on the flight, uh, in the passengers, that is. Um, some of them basically praying or saying goodbye or telling their family they love them uh, because they're obviously terrified. And, and you know, as someone who has <laughs> flown a lot in my life, I've had the good fortune because well, we were a kid, we moved around a lot, and then uh, for work and other reasons, I've had to, the chance to fly a lot. I still have never gotten used to turbulence. It still freaks me out. Um, and I, I just wonder, even when you've done the 30,000 hours and the, the, the 15 million miles and all of your credentials in the 35 years, do, do, are you still, are you scared in that moment? W was this enough to actually scare you or did you somehow feel like you were going to be able to pull this off? No, I was not scared at all. I didn't have time to be scared. I'll get very concerned when... You know, when we did the May Day and uh, they asked, I immediately divided the responsibility in the cockpit. I delegated the ATC communication to Ed, as well as communicating with the flight attendants because I really had my hand full. And we really didn't have time to be scared. If, if any delay, extra delays, that airplane would have rolled and it would have got out of the normal flying condition and would have been so difficult for us to uh, deal with it. One thing I'd like to add here that I am a person that keeps my promises. Mm. I am a promise keeper. You see, Gian, when you go buy an airline ticket, you're not buying a product. You're only buying a promise that we take you from point A to point B safely. Nothing's tangible. It's not a clothes you buy. It's not a car you buy to take home. You buy a promise. And I take that extremely seriously. I take that extremely seriously. And that's why I said, I cannot fail these people. Hmm. I cannot betray their trust they put in me day after day after day. Yes, it's fine to fly fancy jets, go around the world, you know, have pictures and, you know, meet different people from the cultures. But the bottom line is, whether it's a five minute flight, or whether it's a 15 hour flight to Australia or Hong Kong, I take that extremely seriously. And one thing that really uh, kind of impacted me and my decision is that when ATC asked Ed how many souls on board and how much fuel so they could prepare themselves, he said 381 souls. Now that airplane only carries 364 people. under age of two are souls on board, but their weight is so little oh. that doesn't count. So it was, there so was a bunch of kids on the, you, you find out there's a bunch of kids on the flight. I knew immediately that there are children that have no clue what's going on. And all their lives is in our hands, me and my team. And that was almost like a wake up call. You know, it's just 381 people in an airport or it's a small town. You're carrying a small town from point A to point B. And again, as I said, I, said, I couldn't betray their trust. And also I had some unfinished business that, you know, with my dad, he had mm -hmm. become very sick with cancer. He was in a hospital and uh, I made one decision. I think the quality of our lives is based on the quality of the decisions we make on a daily basis. And that one single decision was, today is not the day we're gonna die. Mm. I have some unfinished business. And because of that, that became a driving force. And, you know, it's just like, I became a different person. I literally became a different person. I became calm and collected. I tapped into my martial art expertise of balance, sailing, balancing rocks. Hmm. So you asked the question earlier, 
what helped me. I think all of those things helped me. 